Welcome back to the Nerdery. This is Illusions, and I'll be going over the final option in the uh, Alienware Command Center. In the first three videos, we went over Alien FX, which showed the um, the customization that you can do with the different uh, zone, the illumination, and how, and also how you could do like visual alerts for system events and uh, having different themes for different applications. Under the um, Alien Fusion, it showed the different power managements that you, you can have while either plugged in or on a battery power. And so that's pretty much what the uh, Fusion Alienware Fusion, as a matter of fact, I still have the nerdery test as my active plan. Then under Alienware TACX, it's this uh, sidebar here, which um, has three different settings, presets, so you can cycle through and it'd have such features as if I were to hit that that uh, number one on the side panel, the uh, web would pop up, my web browser of choice, or a uh, screen capture, which I think is actually not a, a picture screen capture, which would be kind of a cool idea to do like a print screen. But um, I think it just fires up my screen capture software. And now for the final one, and the final one in the series, series featuring the Alienware Command Center is this Alien Adrenaline. Now this is pretty cool. It's kind of like a combination of, somewhat a combination of all three of these. Uh, what it is, is you can do um, game modes or performance monitoring or how your graphics amplifier works with your Alienware device or machine. Now under game mode, this of course, this, <laughs> this screen is not gonna pop over here. But um, when I click on here a single option pops up called create new game mode so if i pick that excuse me uh, sniffles ha ah. um hopefully you can see this but i doubt you are but what it shows is create new game mode profile and thus far the only thing i've downloaded on here well as far as like an actual video game not con counting project 1999 is ultima 4 quest of the avatar so i'm going to go ahead and click on that click next so this you'll be able to see. Now here you have this game mode, <clears throat> Ultima 4 Quest for the Avatar. Recreate shortcut, close game mode profile. But basically you can, by having this game mode, by clicking on this, like um, this preset, you can have, you know, media player. You can either have it off. So right here it has media player none in game monitoring none, VoIP chat none, additional apps none, web links none. So all these alien FX use current alien FX state, whichever current theme I have. Accelerator ready, and then this last one launch. So all, all these are gonna happen, boom, 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 boom. And then it's gonna launch the actual game. So under here, we can no dictate, you know, what what's gonna happen, the ac application path, blah, blah, blah. So you can actually, you know, dictate what's gonna happen on these startups, in-game monitoring, is that gonna happen? Uh, you know, voice over IP chat, VoIP chat. Well, uh, I think I do have, I wonder, excuse me, I wonder if TeamSpeak counts as such as you know a voice over ip type setting so let's say if i'm playing if i would uh map this to everquest or project 1999 when i launch this theme or this preset it would also launch that you know additional apps launch if not open exit if open so that's cool so if you know, if there's something running in the background or if I have something going on, I can actually exit. Like, let's say I want to play a game and I need to have the uh, a web browser closed or whatnot. It'll it'll do it. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is pretty cool. 
this web link in one. So let's go ahead and click here. Oh, gotcha. So if we went, if we did like a, I don't know the address for Project 1999 Wiki, but let's say if you know that's what was in there. Let's just put this for now. Uh, let's see if that actually works. We'll just save Yahoo.com for now. But if I wanted to have Wiki pop up, or if I wanted to have, you know, depending on the game, there's there's some web pages that are associated with games. And if you have multiple screens, you can, you know, be playing in one screen, um, maps on another, you know, if, or if we're still going with the Project 1999 uh, example. So Wiki could be up, I could have a map up, or if I'm working on a quest, that could be up. So that's pretty cool. Um, Alien FX. So this is really neat. So I could use current. Enable F supported. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, um, again, you're probably not seeing this, but when I clicked on this play theme, the preset ones pop up. So let's go ahead and do sunrise. Oh, that's cool. It could go to dark. So if I have a theme going, I can actually have it go to dark. So that way nothing's being blinkity blinkity here. It'll just go to dark, but we'll keep it on sunrise. Excuse me. Accelerator. Do you want to update the definitions now? So we'll just go ahead and say yes. Update definitions. So if I had an accelerator, this would be where I'd control those devices, which I do not have an accelerator, but I am seriously <clears throat> thinking about it so executable files so launch exit more of the uh, same capture game executable here we can actually move the order in which these happen so it's kind of like a boot sequence or action sequence as they're calling it here so if I had game monitoring and I wanted to you know have that happen first or if I wanted VoIP to happen first before anything then boom, let's say game monitoring. I didn't want to actually start the monitoring until we actually started the game, which is the launch. So that's cool. Um, we're gonna save this as, well, we'll just save it as the avatar. So boom, there we go. You can see where where some of these items changed. Uh, VoIP, I didn't select um, TeamSpeak, media player, no, additional apps, no. Uh, additional apps companions if you know for a game if there is one so we're gonna leave that as that and I wonder if we go close game mode now there it appears so there's a uh, Ultima 4 quest of the avatar I'd really like to click it and see but I am pretty sure soon as I do that it's gonna boom um, cut my video once it goes in the full screen which I still haven't quite figured out why that does that but let's jump down here to performance monitoring uh, this two items popped up up to the right which is real-time performance monitoring and performance recording so I am pretty sure I don't have any recordings but if I click on the uh, monitoring give it a moment and boom there we go which is actually actually really handy information to know. Um, I definitely want to see, um, I do own Witcher 3. I just haven't downloaded it yet. I've been pretty busy at work and home. But it would be cool to see how that taxes this machine, just to see how it performs. You know, if I crank everything up to the highest possible settings, how is this going to look? So you have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX. 970 M so right now of course it's not using anything because I'm the only thing I have open is this Alienware command center uh, wireless network connection which I'm connected but I'm pretty sure two of my sons are in their room watching YouTube uh, two of my other sons are in their room and they're on Netflix and my significant other is in the living room and she's on Netflix and I'm down here on the internet 
Or actually, I don't have anything open, but still. Dang. So memory. So this is pretty cool. Uh, CPU usage. Yeah. Memory usage. Network. <laughs> Nothing. So as you can see, I really don't have anything going on at the moment. So that's not that's not all that exciting to look at. But and here you can start recording. Uh, I can hit this record, launch that game, and then I can watch everything kind of transpire after that, and then I can stop it. And it's pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure under this game mode you can you can do the same thing. You can you know go through start that monitoring and I'm actually gonna oh no 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 I didn't mean to click you I hope you didn't launch I was gonna actually delete you anyway let's jump down here to graphics amplifier hopefully that's not launching right now so if I did purchase a gra graphic amplifier with this laptop here is under this uh, alien adrenaline I'd be able to augment this or you know set this up so there you have it and i'll go ahead and read this the alienware graphics amplifier allows you to enjoy and experience the performance benefits of a full power desktop class graphics card with your new alienware notebook this provides the freedom of a high performance while on the road and even higher powered gaming graphics while synced at home Addin additional benefits include power external displays as defined by the capabilities and video ports built onto the graphics card inside the graphics amplifier. That's pretty cool. Power and connect up to four USB 3.0 devices. Enjoy all these benefits with a single card connection from your new Alienware notebook and the graphics amplifier. And depending on how The Witcher 3 goes in future games and such I might do that because I do like the um, freedom that the laptop gives me or the notebook gives me you know I'm able to take it down here to the nerdery and enjoy games enjoy creating content I can bring it to work with me I can you know I've <laughs> brought it to bed with me and sat there and watch YouTube videos so it's nice to be able to to cart it around where a desktop true it might be way more powerful compared to the laptop but with this graphic amplifier it might be possible to have a stationary setup a desk and to where i can just plug this in but anyway before this video gets way too long that was the alien adrenaline part of the alienware command center um i'll go ahead and click on support which is yeah it's gonna pop open alienware support page so that's a handy little link to have updates uh, i don't know if you've seen this but a settings window popped up look for updates once a month once a month I'm going to do once a week, turn off updates, current version. I'm going to go ahead and check for updates. No updates found. So the command center is updated. So it'll be kind of neat to, you know, wonder. I wonder if they will put out more, you know, features in the future. Or if they update or add to these. But it's cool to know that they're, that is being done. Um, on launch, I don't, I think I might have mentioned this in the very first video. But on launch, you can actually change which one pops up. Now, right now it's on the Adrenaline. There's the Tech X, the Fusion, and actually I kind of just like it on the Alien FX. But there you have it. That was all four components to the Alienware Command Center. And that's what that little guy looks like there. Oh, and look, the game mode. So <clears throat> that's pretty cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And if it does decide to kill my feed here, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, if you have any other, if you have requests, not any other, but if you have requests at all, please let me know and I'll go over other features of this Alienware 15 notebook. Um, I've barely touched the surface myself and it's been fun getting to know the ins and outs of this laptop. So let's go ahead and click on here and see what happens. Oh, whoa. Well, that's cool. Oh, cool. So it did. Oh, cool. Because, yes, it's a, it's a pretty old game. So that's cool. Now, web link. Oh, error info. So it did change. It did change the uh, Alien FX from my current theme to Sunrise. Accelerator ready. So that's cool. And it did launch two actions failed but that is pretty dang cool that is pretty cool so I'm gonna go ahead and exit this game mode ah is it launching it again don't do it again oh there it goes what are you doing Lappy what are you doing <laughs> okay uh, this has been Illusions for Illusions Nerdery. Thank you for watching.